Hello everyone, my name is Carl Golden Jr. and I'm with Stacey Zakin. And today I'm gonna to ask her a few questions. She's gonna ask me a few questions and we're gonna have a community conversation. So let's get right into it. Stacey, um, what is your vision for Workspace? Uh, Workspace, uh, owned and operated by the town of Manchester, our vision is to support uh, entrepreneurs in developing their business, so to help them as individuals and professionals, but also to improve and contribute to the economic growth and development of the town. Okay. Um, we also happen to be housed in this fabulous historic building that has this art gallery we're sitting in and two other spaces that um, we've committed to showcase art and artists themselves are entrepreneurs, so we're definitely focusing on both art and business um, and commerce. Awesome, awesome, that's great. That is definitely uh, the future. That's definitely how we should see Manchester going forward. Right, and in terms of the vision is we are basically the venue for other people to come and develop in the direction they wanna develop in. Mm -hmm. So we're looking to build those relationships, finding out what people need, and then gathering our resources to support them. Okay, cool, cool. So definitely community oriented. Absolutely. Cool. All right, my next question for you. Um, when did you start working here and how has your vision progressed or come to life? I started working here in September of 2017, so almost um, three years ago. And basically, the vision has definitely evolved because we integrated um, the different aspects, the art and the business. Uh, we've built relationships with other businesses on Main Street and around Manchester to create um, synergies with them and partnerships with organizations like Art Food, like the Cruise Inn on Main, like the Manchester Road Race, Imagine Main Street, the Manchester Arts Commission, other departments in town. Um, you yourself hosted a fabulous open mic night here, and it was so full of energy and a diversity of um, ages and ethnicities and perspectives, and we're looking to find more people like you who want to utilize this space in that way. Awesome, great, great. It's a beautiful vision, definitely. And I support that vision. 100%. Excellent. And, and what's happening now is we're um, hoping to launch a recording studio. Awesome. So the gallery's great. We love to be able to sit here and do this, but we're going to have um, transform one of our office spaces uh, into a recording studio so people like yourself can host community conversations, could maybe do a promotion for your business, okay. a PSA for a nonprofit. If you're a speaker, you could do a speaker reel. You could actually lead a webinar now that we're all going virtual mm -hmm. um, and have a space that's professional. The sound, the lighting is all designed to make you look as good as you can. Okay. Will people be able to record music? Uh, yes, well it depends. It's not really designed for bands because it's going to be near other offices. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to disturb them and there are other recording studios in town that do this. Mm -hmm. um, but this is going to be specially probably designed for you know one, two or three people in the studio at at a time. Podcasts, absolutely. All and right. music, we'll see. Again, All right. you don't know. All right, great. Um, so my last question for you is, um, how do you see Workspace moving forward? You kind of touched upon some of this stuff already, but um, how do you see it moving forward? Well, right now we're open. We're about to have a strategic planning conversation, uh, a formalized one with a, some uh, a pro bono consultant is going to help us um, formalize our vision for the next three to five years. But we do want to remain open because we want community members to come and tell us what their vision is mm -hmm. and see if this is the right place to facilitate it, as opposed to us as the management coming up with ideas and then trying to sell them to people. Exactly. Um, so we want to have more artists, collectives coming. We want to facilitate these community conversations. Now we can record them. Uh, so we, we really don't know other than uh, engaging more people who want to take ownership of this space. Okay, so it's really open for ideas and for community input. Absolutely. Awesome, awesome, Absolutely. definitely. So if you come down to Main Street 901, Workspace definitely has opportunities for you you to come down here and showcase your art, showcase your business, and overall grow as a person um, in any way that you need to. Um, I can definitely attest to that. So um, thank you, Stacey, thank Absolutely. you very much. Absolutely, thank um, you. Yes. Let me ask you a couple questions. Okay, sure. So what role does art play in your life as an individual and someone who, I, what I know of you, wants to give back to the community? Okay, um, so art for me, isn't really something that I grew up doing. It's not like something that I was super into growing up. But as I've gotten older, I've learned to appreciate art and like know that it can be inspiring. It can be looked at from different perspectives and it kind of 
opens up your mind a little bit to what other people interpret as this or what other people interpret as that. And you can see beautiful art here. It's like, you don't, like, I don't even know how this is created. It's just <laughs> like, I can't do it myself for sure. That's just beautiful. But I just, it's amazing to see how talented and creative people are and, and into the community that's like giving them the opportunity to showcase their talent and really express themselves is so important because I just feel like we just don't have that like opportunity. That's why I'm so thankful for places like Workspace. Excellent. And what does it do for you personally in terms of your own personal expression? I know you've done spoken word, mm -hmm. uh, music as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so personally how I feel about like the art and um, I'm just like still exploring like my artistic talents. Like I said, I was growing up, I was never into art. So I've just, it's been about a year or two, maybe two years, um, but I see myself as kind of a facilitator in like connecting other people. But for me, like I do poetry um, and it's a way to express myself. I've recently picked up painting. I've done a couple of different paintings. They're not like world-class paintings, but they're definitely um, a ways to um, express myself. I like to express my faith through painting and through art. That's a big thing for me because I don't see like a lot of Christian art or anything like that. So I think that's a, a avenue that I can take. As far as music, I also create Christian music, Christian hip hop music. So that's an avenue that I can express my faith that is what I usually use it for. And as a way to reach people and get my messages out there. Also, I mean, not my messages, but the message that I believe in. Um, just get out there, spread it to different people and, and hopefully they'll enjoy it. Great. And last question, are you involved in any specific organizations or efforts to bring people together um, for that expression to be shared in addition to this community conversation you're starting? Yes, um, so I have my own organization, The New Movement, which we've done here before, the Open Mic Nights. Um, but as far as like other organizations around the town, I'm not involved in any, but I would like to see what's out there. And I'm Excellent. definitely open to joining other organizations. Um, with the limited time I do have, I am in school and in the army. So, um, but if I can, you know, give my time back when I'm home here in Manchester, I would love to, um, you know, consult with people, just talk to people, you know, give them ideas or take some ideas and just have conversations like we're doing now and, and build from there. Um, I know Spruce Street is a, is a place where I grew up and the, um, the Office of Neighborhood and Families does some great things over there. Um, so I'm definitely looking to, looking to get involved and just and help people as much as I can and uh, see where the new movement takes me. Um, just keeping my faith and, and working hard here at Workspace. Excellent. Well, at the end of this video, make sure you share contact information about the new movement. Okay. And I'll share information with you about more community opportunities. Definitely, definitely. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Continue to check out the Creative Spark series, and uh, we'll talk to you later.